Good morning, my good students. How are you today? Hopefully, you are in a good condition. Today, we are going to learn about label. Label is an information contained in the packaging of product, food products, drinks products, or medicine products. Okay. These are the example of food and medicine products. On this packaging, you can see not only pictures but also some words. The words tell you some kinds of information. There are at least seven information that you can find. Number one, name or brand of the product. Two, description of the product. Three, amount or content of the products. And then, direction to serve or to use. Then, direction to store. And the last is the expiration to make it clear, let's observe this label closely. This is food label. Let's find seven information that we have discussed before. The first one is the name of the product. The name of the product usually written in uppercase or big, let big letter and usually colorful. This is the name of the product or brand of the product. The name of the product is T Lemon D. And the second information is the description. It is usually written under the name or the brand of the product. This one. Diet iced tea mix completely instant just add water and ice the third information is about the content the content or amount if it is solid material or solid products usually stated in grams when it is a liquid product it is usually used milliliter. So for this product, the net net width or the content net width is used grams. The next information is about the ingredients or in Bahasa bahan bahan we have here this one is ingredient state very clear and the fifth information is about direction to cook or use or serve in bahasa cara memasak mengkonsumsi ataupun menyajikan this one in this label, usually written in the words instruction and also preparation. The next one is about the direction to store. Unfortunately, in this label, the direction to store is not available. The second one, we will discuss about the medicine label. The medicine label I have here about milk calcium. So let's find out this part of the label. The first one, name or brand of the product. Of course, the name or brand of the product is milk calcium. It is written in a big letter. 
The second one is about description. For the description, it is written supplement. Dietary supplement. And about the content, it is written uh, 600 milligrams. For the next information is direction to use or doses. In Indonesia or in Bahasa means cara pemakaian atau dosisnya. In this label, in this label, the dosage or the direction to use not stated. The daily value has not been established. This is uh, the information about the direction to use or dosage. And next, beside that, we can see this one about direction. Yeah. As a dietary supplement, take one soft gel for adults daily. Okay, the next information is about direction to store. In this product, we cannot find the information about that. The direction to store is not available. And the last one, the last one is about expiration date. We have here this one. EXP 0427 and 10. Well, that's all the explanation about label. It's time for you to have some exercise. Thank you for today and goodbye.